Hail, Commander. believe it's over. That giant demon, the dragon, what happened? Have we won? You have my ear, citizen.
Here comes it's another right. one! Madness! Why? Why? Everything is wrong! It can't be done! Stay away from me! Shh. I won't go back! You can't make me go back! I will kill you all! You're all going to die! Stay back! <laughs> this one's violent! I am now. Not my place. Should not have gone. I'd stay back from that door if I were you. Nothing that's gone in has come out right. I don't know where it came from, and I don't want to. Those who've gone in have come back out wrong. I'm just here to warn folks to stay away. Look for yourself. Their brains are addled. Got no sense. Perfectly normal people went in there. And this is what's come out. Ha! It's your funeral. I'm just here to warn people, not keep them out. Go ahead in! I'll be here to clean up the mess when you come out. Unworthy! 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 Useless mortal meat! Walking bag of dung! Nice effort, though. Shame is dead. <laughs> These things happen. Bring me a champion! Rend the flesh of my foes! A mortal champion to wade through the entrails of my enemies. Really? Do come in! It's lovely in the aisles right now. Perfect time for a visit. Let's be civil, shall we? Please, have a seat. Yes, what can I do for you? I imagine you're here about the door. Yes, you have entered, and now you are here. Amazing, truly. I am Haskell, Chamberlain to the Lord Sheagorath. You approach the Shivering Isles. Through the door behind me lies the realm of Sheogorath, Prince of Madness, Lord of the Never There. Because my Lord wills it to be so, it poses no danger to Mundus. No compact has been violated. It is a doorway, an invitation. Perhaps you will accept it for what it is. For you? I do not know. My lord seeks a mortal to act as his champion. As for his intent, to attempt to fathom it is a foolish endeavor. His will is his own. His reality follows suit. 
You are here because you chose to enter. You were not summoned. They entered this realm and were ill-prepared. Their minds are now the property of my lord. Cured? You speak as if they are diseased. They live now in another state of being. Perhaps it is you who needs a cure. You do as you will. You may leave the way you entered. Your life will be none the worse for your time spent here. Or you may continue onward through the door behind me. If you can pass the gates of madness, perhaps the Lord Sheogorath will find a use for you. Who is to say? There are always choices to be made. The realm of madness is no different in that regard. Your choices are your own. Enter or do not, but make your decision. I have other duties to which I must attend. Speak with me again when you have made up your mind. The anticipation is almost too much to bear. Yes? What is it you want? Let's be s Well? Have you made up your mind? Fine. I'm sure my lord will be most pleased, assuming you ever manage to see him. You'll want to pass through the gates of madness. Oh, and mind the gatekeeper. He dislikes strangers to the realm. Enjoy your stay. Maybe they're just confused. I'm Fellas Sarandis. Don't breathe on me. It's a nice enough place, less dirty than others. I feel like I belong. That old man in the room made out of butterflies, he said to wait here. One leads to the lands of Mania, and one to Dementia. The gatekeeper makes sure no one gets in who isn't supposed to. He's pretty scary, isn't he? Let's watch him in action. It sounds like the Knights of the Nine are on a real crusade. They're collecting holy relics. See you. Stay away. 
away from the gatekeeper. Let us handle this. It's too much. Killed all my men. Get out of my way. Hello, I'm Sheldon. I've been here the longest. That's why I'm mayor of Passwall. That, and because I'm the best at being in charge. Welcome to my town. He guards the gates of madness. Don't get too close to him. He'll kill you, and it will leave a mess in my town. Jared Ice Veins wants to kill the gatekeeper. Sounds like suicide to me. Don't feel... Bad that you're not as gifted as me. Hi. I'm J Red Ice Veins. Do you ever wonder why things look better without their skin on? For instance, you can only really see the bones when you take them out. You can hear them better that way, too. I want him dead. I need him dead. His bones are calling to me. Rumor has it you want him dead, too. If you're any good with a lockpick, we can help each other out. We can get into the gardens of flesh and bone. They say the gatekeeper's magical. I don't believe in magic, but I do believe in bones. And the best way to kill something is with the bones of its own. I can see the bones of a dead gatekeeper in the courtyard of the gardens. The door's locked, though. You'll pick that lock, and I'll collect the bones. Then I'll make some arrows, and we'll kill the gatekeeper. Sound good? Here, take this lockpick. Careful, it's the only one I've got. You open the door, I'll kill things. Let's go. Lock open. I can hear them in there. You've got nice bones. From these gatekeeper bones, I can make some arrows. Find me in a few hours. We'll kill the gatekeeper. The arrows aren't ready yet. He must die. I can hear them calling to me from the other side. We need to kill the gatekeeper. I followed the bones. They led me here. I just moved in when I got here. No one seemed to mind. 
Everyone here seems to be waiting for something. Tove the Unrestful in Bliss is collecting items to build something. Bye. We should go hunting. The arrows are ready. Here are some for you, and I'll keep some. Let's go kill the gatekeeper. We might die, but there's worse things. Let's go! We need to get through the gates of madness. Let's go kill the... The gatekeeper is slain. Congratulations. The honor of taking the keys from his corpse is yours. The gatekeeper's dead. As soon as you get one of those doors unlocked, we could... As soon as you get those... See you later. So, you've managed to kill the gatekeeper. Pity. Well, you'll now be able to enter the realm proper. You'll notice there are two doors. One leads to the lands of Mania, the other to Dementia. Enter through either one. 
The lands are quite distinct, but both are Sheyagorath's domain. You'll want to seek out Lord Sheyagorath. I believe he has plans for you. Try not to disappoint him. The lands of dementia reflect the darker side of its residence. It is easy to get lost among the tangle of roots growing out of the ground. If you wish to meet Dementia's citizens, seek them out in Deepwallow or Felmore. I'm sure they'll welcome one such as you with open arms. The lands of Mania are bright, vibrant, and full of color. You'll find its inhabitants reflect the land itself. If you wish to meet the residents of Mania, you'll find them in the settlements of Hale and High Cross. Take care, though. Though the citizens and creatures of Mania are colorful, they can often be quite deadly. I'm sure you can handle it, though. You will enter soon, I imagine, through the gates of madness and into the lands of Mania and Dementia. It is the realm of Lord Sheogorath. It is what he wills it to be. The trees bloom according to his whim, and the wind blows at his command. Tread lightly in the aisles. It is not a place suited to all mortals, but I'm sure you'll do fine. It is, of course, the capital of the Shivering Isles. It is divided into Bliss, Crucible, and the Palace Districts. He is the Prince of Madness, the ruler of the Shivering Isles. It is by his will that we exist in this place. He is our Lord and Master. You'll want to speak with him soon, as I believe he has plans for you. You will find him in New Sheath, in his palace. It is best not to make Lord Sheogorath wait. His whims are fleeting, and should he decide you are no longer necessary, it would be to your detriment. A glorious existence, truly. We should go hunt. Goodbye. Blessings, citizen. How may I so Mad God's blessings. The Maz can guard Crucible and New Shayath. We ensure the demented remain orderly and respectful of our Lord Shayagarath. 
Sheogareth is our lord, ruler of the Shivering Isles. It is by his whim that the mass can walk, and we serve our master to the death. The Shivering Isles are a reflection of our lord Sheogareth, divided yet perfect. Walk with our lord, mad god. Walk with our Lord. Blessings, citizen.
How may I serve? Speak quickly, mortal. Blessings, citizen. Blessings, citizen. Oh, a new arrival! A shame about my gatekeeper. I'm so happy I could just tear out your intestines and strangle you with them. <laughs> I suppose an introduction is in order. I'm Sheogorath, Prince of Madness, and other things. I'm not talking about them. You've probably figured that out by now. Let's hope so, or we're in real trouble. And out come the intestines, and I skip rope with them. <laughs> but perhaps now's not the time. Uh, you've made it this far, farther than anyone else. Well done! Take this trinket of mine. Perhaps it will serve you well. Or look lovely on your corpse. I've been waiting for you! For someone like you. Or someone other than you for some time. I need a champion, and you've got the job! Time to save the realm, rescue the damsel, slay the beast, or die trying. Your help is required. A change is coming. Everything changes, even Daedric princes, especially... Daedric Princes. The Grey March is coming, and you're going to stop it. The details aren't important, at least not right now. Eternity is on a rather tight deadline. We'll get back to that later. Now, you run an errand for me, an important one. Of course, anything I tell you to do is important. My realm, my rules. You're going to Zedillion, one of my favorite spots in the Isles. It's a little place I used to take care of unwanted visitors. And some are more unwanted than others. The gatekeeper takes care of most of the unwanted, but he's dead. We'll have to remedy that soon as well. Anyway, there are those that have other ways into my realm, and they're on the move. We don't want them here, trust me. So, you're going to get Zedillion up 
and running. Here's a little book to tell you how. And the attenuator of judgment. Uh, you'll need that too. Of course, you can always get more details from Haskell. He's a detail-oriented type of person. A big help. And a snappy dresser. Now, get going before I change my mind. Or my mind changes me. Really, no need to trouble yourself with the details of that now. It would just cloud your little mind. What is important is... A little busy here! I'm trying to decide what to have for dinner. Oh, how I love eating. One of my favorite things to do. Talk to Haskell if you need more information. He's got more brains than a brain pie. Oh, brain pie. Perfect! Care to donate? You can go now. Run along. Scoot. The Mad God has given you a task. Surely someone of your copious talent should be able to handle it. Yes, quite an amazing place, really. Wonderful for relieving one's tension as you watch those troublesome adventurers suffer. No offense. I'd say your next move is to head to Zedillion and get it reactivated. Yes? Ah, silly me. The book has no pictures. Can't really expect you to read that now, can I? To reactivate Zedillion for my lord's pleasure, you'll need to find three focus crystals and return them to their resting place. Each crystal has a matching receptacle called a Judgment Nexus. Even you can't miss them. Without the crystals in place, the Resonator of Judgment, Zedillion's power source, cannot be restored. A glorious existence, truly. Welcome to the House of Mania.
Finally, Lord Cheagorath has sent someone to assist me. But where are my manners? <clears throat> Must get into my professional tone. <clears throat> Welcome to Zedillion. I'm the dungeon caretaker, Kiliban Nerendil. A wonder of engineering, is it not? Zedillion is the ultimate test of metal for the foolhardy adventurer that dares trespass into the Shivering Isles. What they don't know is that they're being drawn to their doom, courtesy of the Resonator of Judgment. Ever since that wretched gatekeeper was made, Zedillion became redundant. It fell into disrepair and was eventually all but forgotten. After only a few years passed, the Grumites began moving in. Ghastly things. They mistook the focus crystals for some sort of religious symbols and removed them from their rightful places. This rendered the resonator inert and Zedillion completely useless. Luckily, you came along and placed Zedillion back into operation. Yes, yes, I, I tend to ramble. You'll have to forgive me. If you have the attenuator, then Shea Gorath must have sent you. Zedillion would normally have sent you back to the entrance when you stepped on the pad in the resonator chamber. Since you're up here, I can only surmise that adventurers are already entering the dungeon as we speak. The only thing we can do is let the adventurers complete a cycle through here. I'll be glad to help. I assume Shea Gorath gave you the Manual of Zedillion. You can consult it for more information, or I can provide instructions. As the adventurers make their way through Zedillion's chambers, they will encounter choices that you make in these control platforms. All you need to do is decide what becomes of the adventurers. Will you drive them insane, or will you pull the life from their bodies? Simple. Wait until the adventurers are in position, and then press a button. If they survived, they will proceed to the next chamber, and so on. It's really quite ingenious. You'll know you're done when they lie dead on the ground or they are out of their minds. Of course, any of their possessions you wish to keep are yours for the taking. I'll make sure you get them when you're done. Well, the dead will be disposed of. Have no fear. That's my job. Those that are lucky enough to merely go insane will be granted a place in the Shivering Isles as a permanent resident. Each chamber presents two options. When you push the appropriate button, an event will unfold for the adventurers to experience. One is physically harmful, usually lethal traps or creatures, something relished by the residents of Dementia. The other choice is more mental. They are designed to make the adventurers lose their grip on reality, much like the residents of Mania. Of course, the introduction of spore gas with the mania choices helps as well. As you wish. The resonator works by drawing adventurers to itself with a sort of magical siren's call. Cheagorath uses the resonator to find the cream of the crop, as he calls them, the best of the worst to populate the isles. Quite clever, eh? What else can I answer? As... So good to be back in business. Now keep your weapons ready and watch your backs. Do what I say, we might just get out of here alive. Ain't it?
get cute. What in oblivion is that thing? <laughs> this is one of the horrid guardians of which the stories spoke? Be careful. There may be more to this creature than meets the eye. What a joke. Let's be rid of this thing and continue on our way. Are my eyes playing tricks? Or is the creature By the gods, growing? when will it stop? It could devour us Run all. for your lives! Get back here, you cards. Something's not right. All this time, it was merely an illusion. How clever. Wait, what's wrong with Lewin? He makes no sense. Should be d dead. Well, what? Oh, I think this place got to him. Perhaps we should leave. No, we'll pick him up on the way out. He must fend for himself. G going to get us? Get us all? <laughs> Watching them run from the giant gnarl gets me every time. What can I assist? You're doing quite well so far. Keep it up. Look, <laughs> I told you, treasure. Let's have at it, Sindelius. Can't you just wizard it open? Blast! The cage is locked! Grumok, be careful! This looks too good to be true. If only Lewin were here, he could get us through this in no time. We'll have to fend for ourselves. Do you think you can pry the door open? Forget it. This is obviously a trick. Let's get out of here. To be so close. And yet so far, if only we had the key. Wait, do you hear something? Look, keys. One of them must open the gate. We're rich. Let's get out of here, Sindelius. This is obviously a trick to waste our time. I'll know it when I see it. Yes, it must be here. They're all fake. Just come with me now. Find it, yes. I must find the key. Rich beyond all my dreams. <laughs> ah, suit yourself. None of those keys fit the lock. <laughs> Too bad none of those keys fit the lock. <laughs> Before. What more could this place possibly throw at you? What? How in oblivion can I be dead? This... this is impossible. Nothing killed me. I didn't even get a chance to fight. No chance to defend myself? No chance for battle? Why? Who? Impossible. This is impossible. Grimok has never lost a fight. Never.
Impossible. You've made short work of the intruders. Sheagorath should be proud to have such an efficient apprentice. Now, if you'll step on the last teleporter pad, I will meet you in the reception chamber so we can recover your earnings. Not to worry. We'll have your spoils to you in no time. As is the tradition, you are to be awarded a focus crystal as a token of your fine work. I'll have it sent to the palace and placed in the main hall if you wish to take a look at it. Oh yes, of course. It seems a most unusual weapon was recovered from the orc warrior, Gromok. Never seen anything like it, but perhaps his journal can give you some useful information. Beyond that, take whatever else you need from the recovery chest. You've earned it. You're free to go at any time, of course, just up that hallway. Good luck to you. Look out! Good luck! Quite a battle. I hope you are uninjured. You've not heard the legends? How could that be? Those beings, as you call them, aren't beings at all. They are the soulless abominations known as the Knights of Order. Their attraction to the Resonator isn't surprising. It was built from one of the obelisks that dot the isles they seem to have an affinity for. You must proceed to Shergorath at once and tell him the knights have returned. Quickly now, go! Be quickly, mortal. Always. Well now, what news do you have to report? So soon? Not a surprise, I suppose. We'll get to that later. No need to burden your little brain with it now. 
And Zedillion, since you're standing here, I assume you've succeeded. Or you're terribly confused. Or really lacking in good judgment. Wonderful! Time for a celebration! Cheese for everyone! Wait, scratch that. Cheese for no one. That can be just as much of a celebration if you don't like cheese, true? You've run a maze like a good little rat. But no cheese for you yet. Oh, well, maybe a little. I've granted you a new spell. The ability to summon Haskell, my chamberlain, to aid you in your travels. He knows a lot. More than he knows. In fact, give it a try. Summon our friend to you now. I'll wait. Our Lord has granted you the power to summon me. How wonderful for me. When summoned, I can offer advice on your current endeavor. I imagine it's up to you what to do with my wisdom. Do try to use your power sparingly. I have duties to which I must attend. Rather more important than shepherding you around, I'm sure. Not a hoot! I love it myself. Best part of being a Daedric Prince, really. Go ahead. Try it again. He loves it! Just one more time. At least... <laughs> He's a sport. I see you've returned. How exciting for... I believe you have some news for Lord Sheogorath. Ah, summoned again. My lord does so enjoy that, as is his prerogative. I'll assume you're done for now. Good, good! You'll need all the help you can get if you're going to defeat Jigalag and stop the Grey March. Oh, don't expect to summon dear Haskell anywhere but in the realm. He dislikes leaving my presence. I get that sometimes. The Daedric Prince of Order. Or biscuits. No, no order. Yeah. And not in a good way. Bleak. Colorless. Dead. Boring, boring, boring! And not a fan of my work, I can tell you. Hates it. Hates me. A bit single-minded, if you take my meaning. You've seen his knights? Not the warm and cuddly sort. <laughs> Not a bit of original thought in their lifeless husks. So, you're going to help me stop him. Again with the niggling little details. Hold your tongue, or I will. <laughs> we'll get to that all in due time. For now, you've got other work to do. An event, a movement, an apocalypse of sorts. Happens every era at the end of every era, which is to say, now. The Grey March comes and Jigalag walks. Or runs. I never skip sidles or struts, and mostly he just destroys everything around him. Ask? Ask? I don't ask! I tell! This is my realm, remember? My creation, my place, my rules! Look at you! No concept of what you've stumbled into, no sense of place. You don't even really know where you are, do you? I suppose few really do, but that's beside the point. We're going to give you a taste of where you found yourself. You're going to learn!
Two halves. Two rulers. Two places. Meet and greet. Do what they will, so you know what they're about. The Duke of Mania and the Duchess of Dementia. Seek them out and let them show you what new Sheath is. You might be surprised. Once you understand what my realm is, you might understand why it's important to keep it intact. And maybe you'll make some friends along the way. That's always nice. The Duchess of Dementia. Ever wary, ever worried. A prisoner in her own house, in a way. And a delightful conversationist, really. A bit harder to meet than Thaden. Consider making an appointment. The long-reigning Duke of Mania. A master of merriment, if you will. Or if you won't. I suspect it wouldn't matter to him. Ta! Come visit again! Or I'll pluck out your eyes! <laughs>